finished our C1 models uh, Camaro Speed Brake, the 2017 SS version and uh, we'll give you a little bit of after build review um, I'll just take the hood off here so that it's not falling off while we start looking um, it went together very very well the build quality uh, or the casting quality sorry, was uh, quite superior to most others um, the only few gripes that I had were the, the clear acetate for the windows here um, there was no kind of clear way to uh, attach them or to set them in other than back here so up here in the uh, driver and passenger side windows you can kind of see they've uh, ballooned out a bit because they push out farther than along here in, uh, in the rear windows as you can see so uh, that was a little bit of annoying to try and get that to fit in correctly um, this area here I've had I had I tried to paint it beforehand um, but I had a little bit of bleed through with the acrylic paint and the lacquer clear that I put on top of it to try and glue it on um, so I pr would have preferred to have something of a, a window mask or uh, something I could trace and cut out myself to uh, put that on the outside um, just because in the photos too uh, there's a reflection that goes all the way around I would have preferred this to be like a semi-gloss black uh, as I've done with the accent color for the hood, the wheels, the taillights and whatnot. Um, I went ahead and put the stock spoiler on I just thought it kind of looked a little bit better with the double spoiler um, the standard spoiler went on just fine uh, the same story with the back windows here and the uh, window trim is, uh, is visible from the outside but once you put a light on it it reflects back and just kind of uh, ruins the aesthetic when you're going for uh, photographs afterwards um, the as much as I tried the uh, intake grills here on the side um, I tried to shape them down as much as possible but they didn't uh, go in all the way so they do stand a little proud here as you can see the uh, cutouts for the headlights uh, were also a bit finicky and uh, as you can see they didn't completely recess all the way um, just another thing I would have preferred to have but um, just the, maybe a little bit more work I could have gotten them to fit uh, but everything else fit you know almost box standard this whole uh, black piece here is actually part of the engine bay and that fit in quite well um, so it made it up made it up to the uh, the stock kit uh, very very well same with the uh, the front window here it uh, it placed in perfectly and so I had no gripes there same thing with the uh, the mirrors those were good uh, taillights I did not have any issues with um, you know I just I didn't go too too crazy on it but uh, the little pegs here that actually go in uh, were just fine just reamed those out a little bit same thing with the license plate holder here rear uh, diffuser fit perfectly I had no issues with that and uh, yeah so all in all uh, a very good kit if you're looking for you know that sort of wagon style um, or speed brake style to add a little bit of extra flair to the stock model um, so if you want to go ahead and check out the photos on my Instagram and uh, my Facebook uh, I'll start posting those there and then hopefully you go ahead and pick yourself up one yourself and uh, I'd like to see what you tried and uh, and do with it whether you customize it a little bit further or whether you stick with the uh, the box standard uh, SS version so thanks again for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video